Is 2L easier? No, that is a lie. Let's, that is a lie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Um, I figured I would go ahead and do the Q&A video that I promised you guys like either earlier this month or last month. So I apologize. This semester has been like super busy like super busy which i'm going to talk about in the q a and like just the update all of that but don't forget to like comment subscribe all of that leave me comments down below let me know what videos you want to see hopefully i'm able to start recording more videos i have like a i have a plan as always but let me know below what you want to see but yeah let's go ahead and get into this q a i'm also going to just add like some information in as i go that i like feel like you guys probably want to know probably want to be updated on because i haven't done a video in like two months i think so yeah like comment subscribe and let's get into the q a Okay, and so like I didn't divide these up. I'll try to divide them up like right now in terms of like what type of questions they are, but I didn't beforehand because I literally just woke up this morning, had an issue with my braids, tried to fix that, um, put on a hoodie. I was like, hey, let me record one video so I can get something up before finals start. And I'm gonna talk about finals too, but yeah. So first question is, has LA grown on you? Have you gotten used to it? I definitely think LA has for sure grown on me. I definitely like LA now. I know if you go back and watch some other videos, I'll try to put them up here. Um, I was like, I don't really know. I'm not sure. But yeah, I like LA now. I can definitely see myself living here um, for like a long time, like a long time. I know before I was like maybe three or five years, but I can see myself living here now. I think before, like it was just hard to be able to see like, how can you afford to live in LA? But I can see it now. I can see it. I've been living here for longer. It's been like a year and a half now. I've um, met more people, not even like friends, but just associates and just like networking. And I've been able to do more because of the COVID restrictions have been lifting slowly. So yeah, I like LA. I will say that I feel like I still feel like the South has things to offer that LA doesn't um, in terms of like cost of living and like personality types, being closer to family, obviously. But I like LA, it's grown on me for sure, yeah. Next question, is your pre-law school, this is not related to the last question at all, so I lied about trying to go in order, sorry. Um, is, <laughs> is your pre-law school employment history a big factor during 2L OCI? Well, I can actually tie this in to the LA question, actually. So, I think I told you guys on my Instagram that I was gonna do like a video on like OCI with, um, with Bex. But I have been thinking, you guys let me know this down below too. I have been thinking like, I want to change the aesthetic of my channel. And I feel like whenever I post those Zoom videos, like they are never aesthetically pleasing. Comment down below if you get what I'm saying. Like the Zoom videos just are never aesthetically pleasing. So I wish like, and I go to Atlanta more often now. So maybe, maybe if I'm in Atlanta, her and I, she and I can record the video there like that but I feel like doing those zoom videos even like I was going to do a dating and law school video which I have an update for that um, for you guys as well but like I just feel like the zoom videos are not aesthetically pleasing I say all that to say about the OCI question Bex and I were going to do like the OCI video but I will tell you guys in this video I'm not saying that we won't do the video but I'll go ahead and tell you guys because that's like another update and I can answer this question so I definitely think that my employment history helped me in OCI. I think this helped me particularly. I don't want to speak for everyone else. Um, I think it helped me for sure. I think, I don't know if the MBA helped, maybe, possibly, I don't know. But let me like give you guys like, um, if you haven't been watching my channel for a while. So like I worked in corporate America before, like I worked at IBM before. I did a lot of contracting, a lot of negotiating. Obviously I wasn't an attorney, but I did a lot of like contracting and negotiating. I worked with attorneys every single day and I definitely hyped that up in my interviews. Like it wasn't an interview that I did where you didn't know that. It's on my resume, it's very clear on my resume. Um, also I do have an MBA. Also I did work at like other places before, like I worked at a real estate um, office before. So I talked about that if I was interviewing with a real estate attorney. So I definitely think your previous work experience, if you tie it in to who you're interviewing with, do some research on the people you're interviewing with, um, I definitely think it helped for sure. I think so. Um, and I, Well, I don't even think so. I know for a fact, for one of the offers that I got, the firm that I'm actually going to, um, I think whenever he called me to make my offer, he told me that. He said, I think your contracting experience will really be beneficial to our transactional department or our corporate department. So yeah, I think so. So I think depending on what you did before law school, it'll definitely help you. But I also think that you can make anything fit, like fit into it. If you worked in customer service, knowing how to deal with people is very important for being a lawyer. So I think you can make anything work. You just got to sell it in your interview. But 
also with that um so i'll tell you guys about my oci process i did like what what month was that if you want to guys want to go back and watch that video maybe like april i talked about like pre-oci stuff maybe like april and then another video maybe in may or june um but yeah so oci i did like 12 13 screeners maybe i don't remember at this point this was in the summer um 12 or 13 screeners i ended up getting three callbacks and i got three offers so one firm was in new york um another two of the other firms were here one of the firms was like they were all like transactional work um none of them were particularly like specifically for entertainment because i think i told you guys before going into a firm and working in entertainment like right off is hard some people do it but it's hard so one was for just like um they were all for like corporate work corporate work but one of them like specifically one of the ones i was really torn in between um that was here the new york one it is a very well known firm um i just couldn't see myself living in the cold and if you've been watching me for a while you know that it was hard it was really hard though it was a really good firm but i just i don't want to be cold so didn't do that one And then the two here, one was like corporate insecurities, um, but like they work specifically with a lot of entertainment companies, even in their corporate work. That's the one I went with. Um, they're also in Century City, which in LA, Century City is where all the studios, where everything happens pretty much in entertainment. Um, the other one was like with startups and stuff. And I was really interested in that one as well, because I feel like when you work with a law firm that works with startups, you're going to work with different personality types. And so... That one kind of intrigued me a lot as well. But yeah, three offers, three callbacks, three offers. That's just like a side note to go with that question. Cause I feel like I was supposed to tell you guys that like four or five months ago, sorry. Okay, next question. <laughs> next question, hold on. Okay. Um, This is about LA. Any good restaurants in LA that I would suggest? I love seafood, so the boiling crab is really, really, really good if you like like boiled seafood. Um, I really like steak. I, there's like this um, Argentinian, I think I'm saying that right. Please forgive me. Um, Lala's is really good. I like ice cream as well. So there's like this place called Somi Somi. I think, again, this is probably horrible. It's an ice cream place. They put like the little fish on top. This is probably so culturally incorrect. Forgive me, y'all. I think that's what it's called. Um, I feel like that's it for now, but I'll put some more stuff on the screen because I know I eat all the time. And if you follow me on my personal Instagram, you also know I eat all the time. So I'll just put some places up here. Um, <laughs> do I want to join more clubs in 3L or do I want to be a part of less? So this is another place where I can add an update as well. So I think I told you guys, I think I put it on my Instagram. Um, but I am currently right now, I'm on Law Review. I am on the online committee on Law Review doesn't really require much just yet. Um, I am on National Black Law Journal, hasn't required much from me just yet, if I'm being honest. Um, I think I had like maybe one or two slating meetings last year, haven't done anything for it this year, I don't think, that I can't remember right now. Um, I am the recruitment chair for the Black Law Student Association. I have like had to talk to some students, I had to, I enjoy talking to students, like that's probably one of the most fun things I've done this semester. Um, I have like been able to talk to future students, new students, um, students that are thinking about considering coming to UCLA. I have been doing that this semester. I don't consider that to be stressful. I will say that being on the board in general has had some, you know, but that role is not stressful. Um, what else am I doing this semester? I'm a writing advisor. That is the most stressful thing. Is that more stressful or is law review more stressful? Hmm. I enjoy being a writing advisor because I get to talk to students. Like I've had people that watch my channel. Like one of the people that watches my channel. If you watch this, you know who you are. Um, she's one of my like writing advisor students love her love all of my like i love all of them i like talking to them i like helping them do i like editing five papers that are like 10 pages and it takes me like four to five hours per paper no you get where i'm going um so writing advisor is very stressful on top of the fact that we also have assignments due if you're a writing advisor so like i have an assignment due on tuesday i have three sentences it needs to be 1800 words see where i'm going it's very stressful 
um, law review. I have a law review comment that I have to do. I think I told you guys about that. I don't even know how to like break that down right now. That would be a whole nother thing. I can do like a law review video. Um, also, we have for law review, we have like this thing where you have to be a staff member. So during my winter break, when you would think, oh, you're done with finals, you get to enjoy Christmas with your family. No, we have like another, we'll call it another write on pretty much where I have to go through and like apply to be a board member, a staff member or whatever for a law review. I'll talk about that later because I can't even get into that right now because I, yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how I feel about that right now. Um, so what else am I involved in though? Oh, Women of Color Collective. I'm a co-social chair. I will say at the beginning, we were like planning all of these events and some of those events just kind of fell apart, honestly. So that hasn't been that stressful. I really enjoy that group. Um, so not too stressful. And then like I'm in other organizations. I go to other meetings and things, but no. I will say though, if you're, if you're asking about next semester, to sum this long answer up, um, if you're asking about next semester, typically you we kind of like rotate out of the positions anyways. I will say the only thing that I do kind of regret not being involved in again is the Entertainment Law Association. If you guys remember, I was a 1L rep for them. I will say though, I have a... Um, I still have a good relationship with everybody on that board, if that makes sense. So like, I still talk to them about stuff. Um, we were supposed to plan like a, a group event that didn't happen, like a collaboration event. So if possible to be like a 3L on their board, I may consider that next year. Um, but everything else, like I would probably just still be involved with it, but I probably won't be on any more boards because like I said, I'll be a staff member for law review. Um, I don't know what it'll be yet. I'll let you guys know. I'll still be involved in all these other organizations, but like, no, I probably won't be on the boards because typically as a 3L, unless you're like a 3L rep or like a president of an org, you're not really on boards as a 3L. It's kind of like that you're 2L and then you roll off, if that makes sense. Let me know down below if that did not make sense. And I'll go into more detail. Okay. Um, I feel like there's no telling, I don't know what just happened with my phone, I'm sorry. Um, is 2L easier? No, that is a lie. Let's. That is a lie. It is a lie that people tell you to get you through 1L, it is a lie, okay? Um, <laughs> it could also be like what classes you choose like and what you put, what positions you put yourself in, but that has been a lie for me. Now granted, law school in general has not been easy for me, so hey, I don't know. But no, I feel like, like I said, I just told you guys everything I was involved in. You have a lot of meetings all the time, you have like, Law review is just stressful. Writing this comment has been stressful. Finding the sources for this comment has been stressful. Finding an advisor for this comment has been stressful. And somebody asked about that, and I'm gonna let that marinate because I still want to talk about it in a politically correct way. Um, writing advisor has been stressful. Um, my classes have been stressful. I have 17 credits. I think I told you guys that in the video. I have 17 credits this semester. So like. Um, I'm taking, I think I told you this in like the last video maybe, but like um, entertainment law, music law, intro to tax, business associations, my writing advisor class, and then law review. I have like one credit for that. I have four finals this semester. Last year, I only had three finals per semester. Um, I have this assignment due for being a writing advisor, like I said on Tuesday. My first like deliverable for law review is due on Tuesday as well, which is bibliography of 15 to 20 sources, an outline, and then a summary, like a one page summary of what my comment is going to be about. That's due on Tuesday. Um, I'll let you guys figure out where you think I'm at with those. Um, so maybe it's a me thing. Maybe I'm just not a, you know, maybe I'm a procrastinator. I get things done, but I'm a procrastinator. Um, to names, see, whatever. Um, so no, I don't think 2L is easier. I think though, if you're taking a lot of clinics, maybe, cause if like, if you don't have a lot of finals coming up, maybe it's more enjoyable. Like I will say my, my classes are more enjoyable. I don't know about tax, mm. but like, Maybe that part people think is easier because you can you can choose your own classes, you can do things you're more interested in. So maybe that makes it easier for some people. Also, there are some people I know that only have one final. They were smarter than me, like they don't have four finals. So maybe that can make it easier. Also, you don't have to be on boards. You don't have to be involved in all these organizations. You don't have to be on law review. You don't have to be a writing advisor. So I think you can make 2L and 3L more of what you want it to be is the thing why people probably say that 2L is easier because you don't have to do 
anything besides the amount of credit you're required to take. You know what I mean? So I think that's why people probably say it's easier because you're kind of choosing your own path at that point. Okay. Um, favorite and least favorite parts of law review. Will I do it in 3 L? Definitely going to do it in 3 I'm not going to drop because I'm pretty sure if you drop, that looks horrible. And I think they also call your law firm that you got to offer from and tell them that you dropped. I will say though, in terms of law review, if you don't really want to be a litigator or if you don't have like bad grades like me, I don't really know why people do law review. I'm still struggling to understand why anybody would subject themselves to this. But because I want to do corporate work, transactional work. Like I'm not going to be blue booking a lot in real life when I'm a lawyer. So I have no idea why I did this to myself. Um, you definitely build camaraderie though. Everything that you're involved in, you meet people, you talk to people. So network is always fun. Um, my favorite part of law review is what I just said, meeting new people. Cause it's definitely people that weren't in my section that are in law review that I've talked to or whatever. Um, my least favorite part is going to be this it, I thought right on was horrible. I feel like my least favorite part now is this part where I need to spend my Christmas break applying to be a staff member. But then I may end up actually enjoying being a staff member. I feel like I'm always like negative at the beginning and then I get in something and I'm like, I can see the positive. I can see it. I can see it. So I feel like right now, that's how I feel about it. But I'll keep you guys updated for sure. Um, How often do I get to spend time with my non-law school friends? So I only have one, I'm, I'm sorry. I have two non-law school friends that live here in LA. Um, and then like three or four associates that I'm cool with. Oh, we can say we're friends, whatever, they're cool. Um, <laughs> that live here. And how much time do I spend with them? I mean, like, mm, I think that's still a you thing as well. I feel like I, in general, this semester have been more closed off. I will say that I spend more time with like, um, y'all know I don't like talking about these things on my channel. I have spent more time with a particular person more this semester, um, but that, I didn't like not talk to my friends because of that. But like I've done stuff. I was just on the phone with two of my friends this morning on FaceTime for like an hour. Um, we still eat. We do random stuff. We go shop. Like I, I feel like I spend time with my friends, but in general, I have been more of a homebody this semester, probably because I've been trying to do better with money. Um, but I think you can spend time with your friends. In terms of like my friends that don't live here, though, saw them this saw a few of them this summer. Um, besides that, no, not really. I feel like also as I've gotten older. <laughs> I have just been like, I'm talking to people that talk to me. I'm gravitating towards people that gravitate towards me. I feel like I am like, I feel like you mature. You don't want to talk about certain things anymore. You don't want to do certain things anymore. You don't want to do certain things anymore. Um, I like staying in my house. But like I have been doing more, just like more in things that I think are true to me. And I feel like in law school, sometimes when you have, I'm trying to say this, I probably will take this out of the video. We'll see it when I watch this back, how I feel about this. Like I still have all the same friends, minus like one. Um, but I don't know, this semester or this part of my life, seriously, like since this summer, I have like, I have, I have saw myself changing and you know, the things I want to do, the things I want to talk about, the places I want to be. And so like, I don't know. I don't know if law school does that. I don't know if living in LA did that. Um, I don't know if meeting somebody that like I just clicked with and that we like the same things, we want to do the same things. I don't know if that did it. Um, I don't know. I talk to my law, my non-law school friends though. Let's all say that. Do I hang with them all the time? No, because like I don't want to really. I don't want to party. It's not. It's just not my thing anymore. Like I really don't want to do those things. I'm really a homebody. I really don't want to go to a party. I don't. I really don't. I don't think I ever like partying. If you guys remember, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I think I'm realizing now. I just did things that I never really liked. Um. So yeah, I haven't been doing like a lot of partying or hanging out. I haven't gone to concerts. I have been eating with my friends. I have been shopping with my friends. That was such a long answer. This video is gonna be so long. I'm so sorry. Next question, <laughs> how do you balance law school and non-law school friends? I'm gonna be completely honest. You guys always ask me about this law school friend concept. 
I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have not met anybody in law school that I have been like hanging with. Do I have law school friends? Yes. I can think of like five people right now on top of my head that I'm like, I would consider you a friend. You are a, not even a law school friend. Like we talk, we're close. Um, we, we talk about personal stuff. We go to like, um, basketball games, not a basketball, we went to a football game together. Um, we study together, we hang together, we talk, we, we text all the time. So I definitely have law school friends, but if I'm being honest, while people in law school definitely do hang out, for sure they have parties, they go to bar review, there's like bar review, which is going to the, like the, a different bar every Thursday night. People do that all the time. Everybody else is like hanging out, I'm not gonna lie. But like I said again, I have really been a homebody. Like I have really been getting to know myself <laughs> this semester and like just chilling, like really. So I have law school friends, but like I don't hang. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't hang. Um, it's just not something I've been wanting to do. Um, yeah, and then how do, how do I balance them? I haven't been in a situation where I've even like invited like law school friends over and non-law school friends. But the people that I'm thinking of, I feel like everybody would get along because I only hang around certain types of personalities in general. Yeah, and then also I do feel like, I'm not gonna lie, I still feel like being 30 and being in law school, most people in law school are not 30 and I do feel like that has an impact if I'm being completely honest. So yeah. Is LA traffic really that bad? Yes. Next question. Um, <laughs> what fun things to do do I like doing in LA? Um, the beach. I like going to Venice Beach. I like going to I like going to the Santa Monica Pier. Um, I like walking downtown, even though it's dirty and it smells. I just like being downtown. I like looking at the buildings. Um, I like going out to eat. I like I like going hiking for the aesthetic, even though I can never make it completely to the top. It's the aesthetic for me. Um, what else do I like going to LA? I haven't, it's crazy, I said I've been going to concerts, but I haven't actually been to a concert here in LA yet. So I need to do that. Um, I don't know, I just like LA, like going outside of LA, even like driving down Rodeo, like just, the whole vibe of LA will just put you in a good mood, in a good spirit. I just like LA now. So, I don't know, if you guys know anything else I should be doing in LA, let me know. Um, has it been easy to make friends in law school? I think it's easy to make friends if you really want to make friends, for sure. I do. I think you definitely are going to run into people that are competitive, people that are going to make you feel certain types of ways about certain types of things, ignore them, go on about your day, gravitate towards people that you normally would gravitate towards, and you'll be fine with making friends, for sure. Um, how much time do you have for yourself and how do you spend it? I've been spending a lot of time with myself. Um, I definitely think though, like, don't be like me. I tell y'all this in every video. I'm not a model law school student. I do think I went to law school too late. I think I let myself get too lax in life now. I think I worked harder when I was younger. And now I'm at a point in my life where I'm like, I really don't want to work. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I, I say that, but then I work hard. So whatever. Um, but like, I'm spending a lot of time with myself. Like, I, I'm literally at home all the time. My friend will be like, you don't want to no. know. There's nothing against you. You can come over here. But then none of my friends want to come over here because I live downtown and they don't know where to park. So, yeah. I just don't like doing stuff anymore. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But it's not even like, you know how some people will be like, oh, maybe you're depressed. No, I'm really happy right now. Like, I'm really at a good point in my life. I don't know. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I spend a lot of time with myself. Mm. Um, how many hours a week on average do you spend doing law review work? Mm, right now, I mean, none until like maybe like two or three weeks ago when I started doing this stuff for my assignment that's due, like the first deliverable that's due, maybe like two to five hours a week, maybe right now. Um, is there time for a social life in law school? What does that look like in LA? I feel like LA has any anything possible you want to do you can find in LA. Any type of crowd, any type of event, any type of food, any type of culture, any type of activity, LA can offer it for you, I promise you. Um, and I definitely also think that if I hung out with different people more, I would be exposed to even more. So this is a me thing, keep that in mind. Um, but there's definitely time for a social life. Um, I definitely have been doing a lot of networking. Um, I feel like I've just been like, what have I been doing this semester? Let's see, I've been, I went home more. I have done that. I have been to Atlanta a few times. Um, I've been doing things here. I went to Santa Barbara recently. It was, it was beautiful. 
Um, I've been going out to eat a lot. Did I mention that? Um, <laughs> and I've been studying. Like, I really don't feel like I've been doing much. I've been hanging with this one person. Um, Did that answer the question? Is that time for social life? I really tried to think of like everything I've been doing this semester. I don't think I've been doing much. Maybe that's why I can't think of anything. Like I have, I went to a concert in Atlanta. I've, I've taken my nephew's place. I went to my nephew's birthday party. Um, I've been going to eat here, going to the beach more here. But like, I don't think I've done anything really big. If I'm being honest, I think I've really been chilling. Let me know if you saw something else on my Instagram that I'm forgetting about. Mm. Okay, are there great opportunities as far as legal clinics and externships um, for you to do your externships? So the externships and the clinics are different. Um, I myself have not done a clinic or an externship yet. Um, you can do clinics for sure. I do wanna do the documentary film clinic. The entire reason why I came to UCLA was the um, music industry clinic and they don't have it anymore. And I'm, I'm, still, I'm still dealing with that. Um, literally one of my top reasons for coming to UCLA was that clinic. They don't know when they're going to bring it back. So I am going to do like the documentary film clinic. I have thought about doing the, um, sports law clinic. If I can get into it, it's really complicated to get into it. Both of them are hard, but sports law is even harder. And then I'm going to be like, have you ever played a sport in your life? No, but that's not the point. I'm interested. So yeah, Definitely the opportunities for clinics and externships. I know a lot of people doing externships this semester. You just have to like network and they send out emails about externships literally every week. So yeah, you can find stuff for sure. I'm, I'm trying to like not have this light in my face. Um, what's it like? What's it like going to law school in LA and going, what's it like living in LA and going to law school there? Do you ever study on the beach? I have never studied on the beach because I wouldn't study. If, Come on, like, no, I wouldn't study. I barely study, y'all. Um, <laughs> I do like going to the beach, though. I do like going to law school here. I also, another thing I enjoy about going to law school in LA, I am from Alabama. I am religious. Um, I'm also from a military family, um, a black family. And so, <laughs> and also I moved around, but it was also in the South. And granted, I visited a lot of places. Um, but I love that LA has like exposed me to so many different types of people, so many different types of cultures, so many different types of viewpoints, thought processes, more open-minded people, people that are not so judgmental and just everything is a thing like you don't understand it so you don't like it like who cares like just get to know people and so i feel like la has made me a better person in that regard for sure going to ucla that is mostly like a lot of people are public interest like granted i always cared about stuff i was passionate about things but now i feel like i'm learning things i'm learning things every single day and i'm just like i didn't know that oh my god that's happening that's happening they're going through that like just talking to so many different types of people that are really like like just passionate, compassionate people. I enjoy that about UCLA and going to law school in LA. And I do think, um, I think that's a unique experience as well. So yeah. Would I rather do entertainment law in LA, ATL, or New York City? Which one, she capitalized one as an answer to my question. And why? <laughs> um, really, did you have to capitalize one? Because I feel like I have a different reason for each one. New York City is not going to happen. It's just too cold. Will I fly there? Yes. Will I fly directly back to somewhere hot? Also, yes. Um, hmm. Being that I am so, like, I really wanted to do music so bad, which is sounding like a far dream now. Um, I would still choose LA. Just because I feel like LA is, like I said before, um, a picture just you know, another random fact if you guys want to know I have a ball spot in my head now I don't know if it's from stress <laughs> sorry that's the picture that came from my phone <laughs> I don't know if it's from stress or a ponytail that I had that was too tight but we can talk about that too could also I feel like it's a factor of both the law review stress and a ponytail that was too tight just sorry just gonna add it in there um but I think I would choose LA just because I feel like I would be able to work with so many different types of people, different types of industries, different types of artists. And then I could also do TV, music, and movies. And I feel like Atlanta wouldn't give me that as much as I wanted. And New York is just too cold. That's my answer. I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. I feel like that's all the questions. Um, 
This last question is about my law review drama. So let me just give you guys a quick synopsis. But if you've been watching my Instagram, you can go back and watch the stories. I have the stories on my highlights. I have like a 1L highlight now and a 2L highlight on my law school page. I'll put it up here. Um, hmm. So I was trying to find an advisor for my law review comment. And my topic for my law review comment, which is still a working topic, working title, is I'm trying to pull up the other stuff I wanted to tell you guys. Um, it's about how black people are treated in the industry, but not just like treated. We're talking about um, how there's no, how advertising dollars are spent in black, with black companies. We're talking about the bad contracts that black people in music are signing. We're talking about how black people are portrayed in films and how you want a black person to be the main star, but if you hired a white person to be the main star, you would pay them more. We're talking about the Oscars. We're talking about um, TV deals. We're talking about how many black shows are actually on TV that depict us properly. We're talking about labels and how they handle royalties. We're talking about all those things. So my music law professor says she would be my advisor. She couldn't be my advisor because she only teaches in one semester. At UCLA, for someone to be your advisor, if you're gonna write a year long comment, they have to either be teaching both semesters or they have to be tenured. Okay, boom. So <laughs> I reached out to one of the two black professors that I had last semester. She taught my um, legal scholarship and police class. I asked her to be my advisor. She said she did not have the capacity. All right, cool. Um, I then reached out to maybe one other person. Maybe they couldn't do it either. Or I reached out to maybe the, um, I'm not even sure at this point because I feel like the more I talk about it, the more I realize like how this is the issue. I'm not gonna say this issue with the school, with the industry, with the world, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but let's just say, I'm gonna make this short. Long story short, I was looking for an advisor for this comment for maybe, I'm I'm gonna say three weeks to a month, two weeks to a month, we'll say. Um, I reached out to the head of the entertainment department at UCLA. I reached out to student affairs. Um, I reached out to that professor again and asked her again, and she said she couldn't do it again. Um, it got to a point where the head of the, the head of the department at UCLA reached out to professors on my behalf. They started telling me, oh, well, we're not comfortable with this topic, whatever that means. It's a heavy topic. That's what I was told. It's a heavy topic. We don't have the knowledge. We're not comfortable advising you on this. Um, we're not comfortable discussing this, which to me just meant you're not comfortable putting your name behind it because you're still part of the problem in the industry, which, because a lot of the professors at UCLA are actively in the industry. Um, and then some professors just couldn't do it because they weren't tenured or they weren't teaching both semesters. But it turned into a thing and it was just like, to a point where like another person found out and they actually emailed on my behalf and was like, hey, I've heard of this issue and I think it's a real issue that y'all need to deal with. And it turned into a whole thing because it's like, why is there no black professors teaching in the entertainment department? Why is nobody comfortable advising on this topic? Why do you not have the knowledge? but you've been in the industry for 10, 20 years, maybe let's say. Um, I need to really like stop because I still have to take these professors for classes. Um, but I don't even know what professors, I'm not even saying who because she didn't tell me who. Um, there were also professors, we have critical race theory, as you guys know, UCLA is known for that. There were professors in that group that were telling me, oh, well, we're not comfortable advising you because you haven't taken any of our classes and we feel like you don't really have the knowledge to speak on it either. And I'm like, I don't have the knowledge to speak on being, on, on being black? Or what exactly, what am I lacking? Um, so that was a thing. I ended up finding the one guy that could be an advisor. He's like my secondary advisor now, um, but he's a fellow, so he couldn't really do it. It was like a whole thing, y'all. Like a whole thing of me not being able to find an advisor. And the the professor that I asked twice, the black professor that I asked twice, that said she couldn't do it twice, she ended up suggesting somebody else to me. Um, she is a, a white woman. Very cool. Um, she actually had like interest like in just like um, fraudulent inducement and like just bad contracts in the music industry that were happening to black individuals. And so she, she suggested her to me. I reached out to her and she's like, yeah, definitely. She's on maternity leave and she was still willing to do it. So she is my advisor. Um, I, I'm not kidding though. That took, I'm gonna say like three weeks. 
and most people had an advisor in like a day or two days just because of the topic that I wanted to talk about. So I'll let you guys tell me how you feel about that down below. Maybe I was tripping. Maybe it's my fault. I don't think so. I don't. But y'all let me know. That's the law review drama though. I hope that was enough and not enough at the same time. I hope I didn't say too much. I don't know. Um, okay, so just a few other things I want to wrap this video up with. I feel like this video is going to be so long. Um, so like I mentioned, I was supposed to film two videos. I was supposed I was I was supposed to film a video on dating in law school. I was also supposed to record a video on OCI in that process. Um, both of those videos were going to be like the Zoom format though, and I'm just not comfortable. Also with the dating in law school, I'm just still, I just don't want to get on YouTube and talk about my dating life. It's just not my thing. I don't know. I'm not there yet. Y'all let me know, like, does that bother y'all when people like, I don't know. I feel like that's not what my channel was about. If you guys want to see more of that, let me know. Like, oh, I'm not going to like tell you who I'm dating and show you who I'm dating. That's probably, I don't know when that would happen. I have to be married. Um, <laughs> but like, I can definitely talk about like the positive things you should be looking for in somebody you're dating in general. As somebody who has dated, you know, a few bad apples, um, a few toxic apples, um, I can talk about that. But I also can talk about like specific, specifically for law school, like just dating somebody who wasn't supportive in law school and then dating somebody who is supportive. I can give you like the, listen, it's, it's a difference, okay? Um, but that was supposed to be like a group video. But like I said, I don't really like the Zoom videos anymore, y'all. Y'all let me know. Um, but I say all that to say that I want to like change the types of videos. I want to change the aesthetic of my channel. So let me know down below like what you want to see, please. Um, law review, I talked about that. Oh, okay. So for my finals, I told you guys I have four finals. So I want to let you know like why you probably won't see another video for a while. I have a final on December 6th, December 9th, December 13th, and December 16th yeah so i will be studying for finals very soon on my last day of classes is this tuesday coming up i'm filming this video on saturday the 20th my last class is tuesday the 23rd um i, I don't know how often i'm gonna post videos coming up i don't know i have no idea um i was about to lie i don't know um <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to like give you guys like an update, tell you guys that I do want to change the aesthetic of my channel. I do want to start posting like, oh my gosh, once a week would be great. Um, I do think I am going to have like more help with like recording my videos and editing my videos, hopefully. Um, I, let me know if you guys want to see like more vlogs in general, just of me like out outside, not just only law school. Because I feel like talking about law school all the time has been depressing for me. I don't, I just, I just can't. Law school has really been difficult for me this semester. Y'all, I told y'all I have a ball spot and I really don't know where it came from. Um, <laughs> law school has been really stressful. Like even going back and forth with my weight, I lost all that weight, gained it back. Like law school has just been really stressful for me this semester. So I think that's also why I've just kind of been like at home chilling gravitating towards people and things that give me peace give me happiness because i feel like law school has not gave me any peace or happiness this semester i'm not gonna lie to you um but yeah that's pretty much all i feel like i'm rambling let me know what videos you guys want to see down below let me know if you have any comments on anything i've said if you have other questions don't forget to like comment and subscribe hope y'all enjoyed this video bye y'all